Hey folks, I found something really cool on uh, DistroWatch. For those of you uh, who remember the Commodore 64 that you plugged into your TV, uh, well guess what? They're back in action and they just released a uh, new operating system based on Linux Mint 1010. It is Commodore OS Vision, and we're going to look at it today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, let's begin. Uh, let me tell you, I had to install this in my virtual machine when I uh, when I saw this because I just couldn't believe uh, how neat this looks. All right, now this is based on Linux Mint 1010, and let me tell you, this has all the eye candy pre-configured and built in. Uh, some pretty cool stuff. Um, it's got some really cool special effects and uh, audio effects too that are reminiscent of the old Commodore 64 days. It is loaded with tons of games and software and everything. That is why it is such a large download. So uh, beware and it uses up a great deal of space too. You could see that was the, com the uh, Compiz screen that came up. And uh, we've got the desktop cube complete with Sky Dome and everything here. I'm telling you, they just had all kinds of fun with this. This uses the Avant Window Navigator. Same thing I'm using on the top of my screen. Very nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. We right click on this. We also have a number of backgrounds that we can choose from here. And uh, all of them are fitting for the Commodore 64 theme. Uh, let me minimize this. <laughs> Pretty neat stuff. <laughs> and let's have a look at this one. Okay, I think that uh, I think this one here is the default one. Yeah, there it is. All right. So, lots of uh, Compiz eye candy and uh, really cool stuff here. Now, interestingly enough, it appears that they're going to be releasing a new line of Amiga computers and it's going to have this operating system. Unfortunately, though, it just does not have very many themes to choose from. So, it, it just got the one theme here. And if this blue really bugs you, well, I'm afraid... Uh, you're going to have to do some tweaking on your own. And uh, now when I went into the Synaptic Package Manager, I figured I'd check and see if there was a Ubuntu tweak or something that I could get for this. And it doesn't look like it's in their repositories. I'm going to go ahead and have a quick look here and see if it even lets us add things to our software sources. Uh, first, let's go into System and see if I can find that here. Okay, I don't see sources here. It's got Emerald already installed and pre-configured for us. Um, ah, here we go. Software sources. Let's see where it's pulling uh, stuff off of uh, the internet. <laughs> I just love these sound effects. Okay, this is pulling off of the official supported non-free drivers from Maverick Meerkat. Huh. I'm just surprised I couldn't find Ubuntu Tweak. That's weird. Because um, I wanted to do some fun things 
earlier. But at any rate, let's have a look and see what you get with this. There's a lot of stuff this comes with. Okay, first let's go into accessories. You get, uh, there's some tutorials. Uh, obviously because this comes with uh, some emulations so that you can run your Commodore 64 programs on this. There's a terminal, text editor, you can search for files, a calculator, a character map, you can take a screenshot, tomboy notes, clock, and screenlets is already installed on this. Then we have, uh, we have Wine that's already pre-installed. Get back over there. Okay. Uh, nothing really installed on this as of yet. You have an Amiga emulator, Advanced Amiga emulator, Commodore 64, 128, CBM2, PET, VIC, and Plus 4, DOSBox emulator, and VirtualBox comes preloaded on this. In games, we've got tons of them. Uh, we've got Argematron, Chrome BSU, Taurus Trooper, In board games, you got Dream Chess and Mahjong. And desktop games, I'll Rot Solitaire, Gibrani, Mines, Quadrupacel, and Snake. You even get first person shooters, Assault Cube, Free Doom, Nexus, Open Arena, and Sour Broughton. In racing, you get you get Super Tux Kart and Torx. In retro gaming, you get an Arcanide clone, Asteroids, Boulder Dash, Cave Story, Galaga, uh, Load Runner. Marble Madness, Missile Command, Pac-Man, uh, Paradroid, Space Invaders, and Thrust. So an awful lot of games here. You also get Picasa. You get the Advanced Graphics Editor, Document Scanner, Desktop Publisher, Simple Paint Program, Amiga Deluxe Paint Clone, Scalable Vector Graphics Editor, iPod, iPhone Photo Manager, and Blender 3D Ray Tracer. Very nice. In internet, you get Firefox, Chromium, e um, an email client, BitTorrent client, file sharing, social networking, internet manager, internet relay chat, Google Earth, FileZilla, Skype, and a terminal server client. In Office, you get, it looks like LibreOffice according to these icons. You get a word processor, spreadsheet, email and calendar, presentation, database, drawing, personal finance manager, and dictionary. In programming, you get Gambus 2 Basic and SDL Basic. Why wouldn't it have Basic? That's what the Commodore 64s and all. I think all the home computers that I had back in the day. I used to have a ColecoVision Atom that ran Basic, and uh, so all, I think all the old home co computers that you plugged into your television had the Basic programming language on it. And then, of course, in sound and video, you get a, D, a DVD CD disc burner movie player, sound editor, XBMC Media Center. A lot of people like that one. I didn't care much for it. You get a video editor, music player and organizer, sound recorder, C64 music player, an Amiga Track Mix Composer, C64 music composer. Wow! VLC Media Player, Blu-ray Ripper. Hey! <laughs> and I... Pod iPhone Media Manager, Sound Format Converter, Speech Synthesizer, Video Format Converter, Winamp Player Clone, and ISO Master. And then, of course, in System Tools, you get the Resize RAM Disk, Super User File Manager, Simple Backup Configuration, and Restoration. A system Profiler and Benchmark, Disk Usage Analyzer, Manage Print Job, Fire Scanner, USB Image Creator. And it's just a standard, it's just a standard uh, Linux Mint 1010 install with lots of eye candy already pre-configured here. You get four desktops to flip and choose from and uh, everything's pretty standard here. It's really neat to see that there are people that are still making Linux distributions that are using the old genome shell. A lot of people really like it. I know I do because uh, with the uh, genome you get all the special effects, the eye candy, that sort of thing. And I like it because it, it just it just you know helps me organize my uh, workflow a lot better. You know, when I'm able to, you know, move applications to different windows, that sort of thing. You know, I have a really nice, you know, page flip that I can, that I can use to, you know, um, navigate around and stuff like that. 
And uh, so it's really nice that they have this already preloaded here. It's a wonderful looking operating system. Actually, if it had a, a few more themes and that sort of thing, you know what? I wouldn't mind actually l loading this as a second operating system on my, on my notebook that I'm using now. Very nice looking operating system. And, uh, and with the new Amiga computers coming out, they're going to put this on there. People are going to be going, wow, this is awesome. And uh, it definitely is. Uh, I, I really think this was well thought out and well put together. This is still in beta. So uh, I imagine uh, once the uh, final release comes out, uh, you may just simply just have to run an update and that sort of thing if you've installed this on your system. Although I think I'd prefer just to download the image and do a fresh install myself. So all in all, very, very nice. Um, something that's definitely usable, but I think it... I think it's lacking in themes. It, it, it could really, it could really use some themes, but the thing is, you could definitely go on gnomelook.org and get brand new ones if you wanted to. Very nice system. I'm very pleased with, pleased and uh, very happy to see something that is a breath of fresh air. All right. If you thought this video was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Here's the like button right here. And then the subscribe button is right up here. If you click my name, you will actually gain access to my channel where I have e conveniently placed some links to my Facebook and Twitter pages. This way I can keep you up to date on all the latest and greatest things happening here on Spatry's Cup of Linux. And of course, if you are really feeling generous, please visit my blog at linuxspatry.blogspot.com where uh, I have a nice little link where you can shout me a cup of coffee. This way I can keep all these great videos headed your way. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tell your friends, and we'll see you next time.